Hello everybody, welcome back to Britannia Garden of Glass. This is episode 30, and in today's episode, we are going to be building building a pretty cool uh, machine type of thing. I mean, it's not really a farm, but we're going to be automating the making of sparks, because <laughs> I was having a look at how many sparks we're going to need, and it's a lot of sparks. <laughs> a hell of a lot of sparks. So, I've been busy in... Well, for the past little bit, that lagged out of me quite a bit there. But yeah, as I say, I've been busy, and this is what I have done. Why is this all of a sudden really, really laggy? But there we go. We've got all of these chests. I've put some cobblestone in there just because. I understand that these uh, item frames aren't necessary in the front here for what we're about to do with them, but they look cool and we can actually see what's in a chest. If ever we need us to grab one out outside of Corporea, we can do that. So that's what's going on there. I need to work out a better way of going up. I've got some spectral platforms here. We don't need that one there, but I've left it in there. And the whole reason is when I go down this one here, which is an abstruse platform, there I can press shift. But if I went through another abstruse platform, I would have to press shift again. Now, the reason I don't want to press shift again is if I do press shift like here, I uh, will fall directly down. But the thing is, I want to make like a bit of a roof here so it doesn't look as bad. Keep the keep the bedrock shown, but just because it's it's not really too pretty looking up there. And I doubt we'll come down here too much, but I just don't want it to look too bad. So we'll go up here, work out a better way of coming down again. Now, one of the other things um, I have done in the... What is that? What is that? Oh, it's the tree. <laughs> I've uh, I've planted trees around, so I've planted a whole bunch of trees, and I have done this, which you can see right here. I decided that the end port the end portal looked really really bad there, so I've messed around with a few end blocks. Uh, I've used lavender quartz, as you can read there. I'm sure I'm a tooltip. Uh, lavender quartz is not really too bad, um, expensive wise. I just made a whole bunch of um, are they peonies? I think they are. And Ender Bricks, which Ender Bricks actually have got a pretty, they, I mean, they 1.9 block, like the purple blocks, it looks like, but, uh, what was I going to Ender? So around here, the actual, uh, cost of them isn't too bad now that we got to the nether, um, got to the end, sorry. So, they look pretty cool. Uh, we can use them in a few other builds. I must admit, I never thought I'd ever use purple, but I think this looks pretty, I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe the infused planks might need to be changed. I don't know. We can see that. Uh, see how that goes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've put a few of these trees around. The reason I've got all of those golden um, trees around there is because I was making the golden flooring in the base, uh, in the bottom of the base here. So right around here. And also, we have got silk touch, so I can actually put those trees around. So yeah, all golden planks around there. Just put this one over here. The uh, tiled shadow fox botany wood. So that one there is the infused wood. Uh, I've just put that there just to mark where the middle was. We can change that up at some stage. So, for today's episode, as I say, we wanted to get ourselves the Spark Farm. And I'm thinking to, we could put it right around here. Now, the Spark Farm requires... Well, we don't need to have Corporea, but I'm going to make it completely Corporea integrated so that we don't have to do it at a later stage. Now, I'm going to clear this out, and... Do these trees all connect? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, okay, that one, they all connected, so <laughs> I could take it out with the Terra Truncator, but that would be a really, really bad idea. Uh, we'd probably see a lot of that farm go away, the uh, island, <laughs> pretty much bare again. Uh, where, what is I looking for? One of these. These. There. Is that really just got unbreaking three on it? Probably should put something cool on that, like efficiency. <laughs> That's alright. So... What am I going to get rid of? Up to this tree here. I just want to get rid of a few of the leaves so that it doesn't connect across and destroy the whole forest. I don't think that will do anything. Uh, this guy's not connected. I'll just take out a few more, just to be sh <laughs> just to be safe. I've done it before, I'm not doing it again. Not with this forest, but with other builds. Okay, so... Safe? Okay, that wasn't actually too bad. Uh, 
Alright, okay, so there's obviously just the limit of how much it'll take. How many blocks? That looked pretty cool. Um, that's also, I think, new with the new botanical add-ons update that the blocks now have particle effects when they're broken. So that's pretty cool. I really need to get my ring of magnetization on again. Uh, so yeah, back to what I, about, well, actually about last episode. I'm flying right now, and if you remember, I was quite confused about why I was going fast. I thought it was just a bit of a glitch. It doesn't seem like it. So I was testing it out when I take this flugel tiara off and I'll walk forward. Now I'm sprinting. The flugel tiara actually gives you a bit of speed. So now it doesn't look any different. But earlier, it looked like it did. So maybe I was wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, we don't have that insane speed until we fly. And yeah, nothing too sneaky is going on. And I'm glad because I was really kind of getting annoyed of... <laughs> of fixing things around here. So, that's cool. Did they just... Oh, yeah, that is still connected. So, as I said, I'll grab some stuff up together. I've got a few things in this chest around here, ready for the farm, or whatever we're going to call it. I think I might need one or two more things. I'll sleep it off, and I'll catch you guys in a few, a few minutes for me. Okay, so here we are. I have got everything I think I'll need. As per usual, we are going to forget something. And I'll have to go grab that later, but we'll get started. Now, this idea of the spark farm, I kind of know how I'll do it, but I must admit, I haven't even thought anything through at all. <laughs> Prior to this, I haven't really put too much effort into thinking about the spark farm, but it seemed like it was going to be quite straightforward. I've just gone ahead and made a master called Bree Spark because we don't have any of those. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I tend to do from the beginning of most um, most of my farms is I'll start almost at, at what I want and then work my way backwards. And I think this shouldn't be too complicated. So do I have, I've got building blocks. Uh, we'll, we'll just grab a crafty crate and maybe put it, I need a building block already. So we'll just put a crafty crate, maybe let's just give it an extra bit of space. One more up. That was terrible. Even, ooh, will I have enough space? Maybe I'll just go out here like that and we don't need that guy we can get rid of that there we go so yeah we'll put the crafty crate around here and then we'll work backwards so we're gonna need to make ourselves one of these so let's have a look at what a spark recipe is it's oh there we go spark and we'll have a look at this so we need to get gold nuggets we need blaze powder and we need mystical white petals or any mystical petal so that's going to be a bit of a, a weird thing because we can't really say take in any mystical petals. So we'll have to make it a specific color, maybe. Uh, there's not really a problem in getting mystical petals. We'll soon find out which ones will not be too useful when we start doing other farms, which will require these. And we can start changing them there. But for now, we'll just go with whatever comes. Now, I want to also integrate the whole... Um, making gold nuggets so we'll do that separately because I don't want that as part of the farm same as making the petals we'll we'll make that separately so what I'm gonna need to do here is we're gonna need to insert each of these items in so we need the blaze powder gold nuggets and the petals and also we're going to need some crafting placeholders which are these guys around here and they're made pretty easily on oh, not there we'll go there just living rock a crafting table gets you 32 of them um, and my plan is to have those in a separate chest that Corporea can just pull them out when they need it from any of any of the uh, farms that we're going to have around here. Now, I forgot one thing already, which is the living wood funnels, which I was going to use here, which isn't too bad. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could probably do some things other... No, let me just... I'll just grab them up quick. So we've got them from the get-go. Okay, and I'm back again. I've grabbed up these, as I said I was going to do. Uh, what we're going to have to do is do something. I don't know if you have potentially seen my Crafty Crate tutorial video where I went through and made a cake <laughs> using Britannia um, with Crafty Crates and all these sorts of things like mana detectors and stuff like that. We're going to be doing something quite similar to that, but we're going to be obviously doing a bit of corporea with it. So uh, we got five droppers there. We need four of these, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, four. We've only got four inputs in this. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll put one living wood funnel there, 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 and there. Now, how am I going to do this? So each one of these is going to take in 
a different item. So we're gonna have, and we're gonna have to do it in a particular order. So we're gonna need nine different inputs, or actually eight, eight, eight different inputs because the ninth one. Or well, wait, can we do the ninth one? Let's quickly have a look at this. Uh, crafting. Oh, everything comes up with craft there. Uh, so if I remember correctly, that only does one. There's nothing that'll just leave the end out, is there? Hmm. Huh. That's all right. We we can do it with nine. That's not a big deal. Um, I've got eight there. I've got sixteen or something more left in the chests over there. So what's happening here? I'll quickly do an explanation for you. So we're gonna hook these corporea funnels up so that they are pulling in a particular item. It's gonna get dropped into the living wood funnel in the order we need them to go in. So in the order of a spark, which is right around here. There we go. So, Spark. We're going to need the first one to be a crafting placeholder, which are one of those things I showed you earlier. Where are they? These things here. And all they do is just tell the crafty crate that's an empty spot. The next one we're going to have to go white petal, then go blaze powder, gold, blaze powder again, back to crafting um, placeholder, mystical white petal, crafting placeholder. Everything falls out. The crafting placeholders will get picked up and put back into the system. Oh, whoa, my mouse went crazy there. And... The whole process can start every time. Now, I could put this on a hovering hourglass like we've done with all our other farms, but I'm going to have this as a requesting one that just requests uh, the items as we need them. So, for now, I will just use a button, which I don't even have here, and I'll figure out this part here. So, we're going to need... Maybe we should actually do this. Maybe we should just grab up our item frames. Did everything just come really, really laggy? I don't know why that happened. There we go, so item frame, item frame, item frame, and item frame. I don't think we've put them in the smartest spot, because they might get in the way, so we'll just put that one there. We're going to need four of those, so that'll have to be opposite something we need two of. Oh, blaze powder. Uh, blaze powder there. We'll need the petals somewhere else. We'll just do the petals later. And the gold nuggets, they can go here. Keep it nice and narrow on this side. So... Each of these is going to pull the particular item that's on the frame when the um, uh, when the redstone signal comes through. And by the way, if anyone's a bit confused right now, check it out on my channel. I'll probably leave a link in the description for my Corporea tutorials. Uh, I've got three of them so far, and they all seem to be... I don't know, it seems to have helped some people. So if you guys are a bit confused with Corporea, which it can be quite daunting at first, but it really makes life so much easier, and it... it means you can do so much more stuff with Britannia. It's actually it's actually pretty crazy. So if you are in out of the loop with those things, just check them out. It's really, really, really simple. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up these mana detectors. I might just do this off camera and come back and show you what's going on, uh, just so I can work out what's a really good order to put these in. Make sure I don't waste a spot. And oh my goodness, it's lagging. More, It's crazy. I get so much frame drop... When I, when I record right now, which is really, really annoying. So I'm probably going to have to get myself a new graphics card sometime soon. Upgrade. Need, need to do some upgrades. So hopefully we can see an improvement in the video sometime soon. Uh, but I'll give it a cut here, and I'll see you guys now. Here we are. It looks absolutely horrible, but it seems to be a working... Well, I'm sure this will work, but it seems to be one of the more workable <laughs> designs of this. Now, what I've done, if anyone is wondering what's going on here, uh, these mana detectors, every time they get a mana burst go through them, will give us a redstone signal. So, this one only has to give us one redstone signal. I'm fairly certain it can go down um, onto the corporea funnel. If not, we'll have to change it, but I'm pretty sure that'll work. I don't think there'll be a problem there. The, um, the rest of this over here, these mana detectors are going to go off at separate intervals, so we're going to have it go, as I said, throughout the recipe in order, and it'll just keep filling in because it fills from left to right and then top to bottom. Uh, now what I've done is I've used pink uh, petals for now. We'll change it up if we need to change it up, but that's our petal of choice at the moment. I can't see us using too many pink thing, pink petals too soon, and I mean really, flowers are not the biggest problem. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a false relay on top of each and every one of these, except for the last one. That was really, really weird. Um, laggy as hell. And the last one will be one of these. And the first one will actually be one of these as well. So maybe... Hmm. Maybe we'll put the mana pool here. Into that one. 
Well, actually, we'll go around. Let's let's make that one the last one. Put these on there. And is that all? Cool. Now, the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the diluted mana pool on there so that it collects whatever mana comes in at the end. As most of you will know, that's what we're doing there. But if not, that's cool as well. There's a recessive spark. And we'll start off with this over here. So we'll put this pulse mana spreader, which is a redstone mana spreader. If you have not realized that it's changed, it has changed names. Still does the exact same thing, just as a different name. And the whole reason for that was because normal mana spreaders can also take a redstone signal to shut them off. So it just made life a bit easier, I guess, to call these pulse mana spreaders, which, I mean, it's really just a name thing. This is a fabulous mana pool, by the way. If you were wondering what's going on there, we'll fill that up with a bit of stuff. And now what we're going to do is, let me just quickly go through here so you can memorize this recipe. And I might even just go to the proper one that we're doing. Because... Uh, so this is the recipe we're going to do. Just memorize it. These are going to be blank patterns, then pa uh, petals, and we're going to go in order. So the first one we want is we're going to get this over here, which is the crafting placeholder. will come through this mana detector, and it will only come through once we've put a warp lens. So let me put the warp lens on this pulse mana spread over here. Now, I will right-click this. And then we're going to have to get ourselves a pedal. So I will right click where I want that to go, which is over there. Then right click on this one, which is a force relay. So we've now got a placeholder and a pedal in there. Now we're going to go back to the next one of these, which is over here. And we're going to right click on that force relay. And the next one will be, what is that? That's the uh, blaze powder, which is over here. So we'll, uh, let's go on that one there. Now I've forgotten which one I've just gone. I think I just went on that one there. Uh, we'll right click on there, put it onto the gold, so that's the gold one. Right click again, go to that one there. Right click again, then we'll need a, another placeholder and... Oh dang it, I think this is the right one. Uh, right click again, and then we'll go here. Have I just messed that up? I think I've just messed that up. Uh, yeah, I'll just restart this quick and I'll be back. There we go. I think I've got that right now. Uh, we can have it give us a try and also I need to put a spark on there. So whatever mana is in that that pool at the end will come through to this one here. And now we will... I mean, we could probably give us a try. Do I have anything I can make a button or anything out of? No, apparently not. Um, I should have some... I can just do this. Hey. Why can't I... Oh. There we go. Uh, we should have enough for a button. Uh, grab the button. I really gotta fix that thing there, but we can even try and fix it now with Corporea. That'll be good. Uh, I'll do this, and... Put that there, that's not gonna interfere with anything, no. Now, what we should do is we should just see if this is going through each and every one of these. So we can just have a look now. What have I done wrong? Have I angled this correctly? That's going up into that mana detector, and... Ah, oh, <laughs> that... Uh, don't judge me. I know you guys thought, how can you be that dumb? Uh, that is how. <laughs> um, I didn't have <laughs> redstone going to the redstone man the pulse mana spreader, so now it should work. Okay, we'll do it again. There, 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 there. I know this looks absolutely crazy. That looked like it would have been working to me. We'll only know at the end, so we've got all that now. Now what we'll do is we'll connect the corporea stuff up to it. So, uh, what do we need? We need these guys here. We need that one. And, oh, no, we don't have any corporea sparks. So, can I make sparks? I can make sparks here. I've got enough. Got enough stuff. Uh, we'll go there. Hey. Hey. Uh, so we need that one. How many sparks do we need? We need four. Is it four? Yeah, four. And there, there. We're doing exactly what we just did. Uh, I could have just actually... No, I can't actually do that just yet. Those there. These there. And now that we don't have a problem with pixie dust... <laughs> I get so excited when I actually get to use them now. Uh, and that one. Because we went through a long time of not having enough pixie dust. So, 
just put a spark on each of these. These are corporea sparks, by the way, for those of you who might not know. And we need to have a chest, which I don't have. I don't want to put it on that chest. We'll just put a new chest down there with a master corporea spark telling us that this is part of that same network. For those of you who might not have seen it, just right click there. You can see when I right click on that, you can see these are all connected. It doesn't look like it's connecting through to that one there. That one has got a spark on it, right? I might just be going a bit a bit crazy. Yeah, okay, they're just connecting up there. Okay, cool. That's easy, not a problem there. Now, what we're going to do is, this is just the Master Corporate Spark. If any of you guys are wondering, um, I haven't ever answered this, I don't think, but um, what Vazgi said was that the reason for the Spark is just because it's easier to program. It makes sense as far as the code goes. So this just tells us we've got a network that's blank right now. It's actually the white network. As you can see, this little thing I'm following around here is white. That designates designates the color of this network. Uh, we'll also we'll have to make another spark. Um, I can do that there. And what, as I say, what that does is it will designate that we're on the white network and we're only looking for the white network right now. So what we'll do is we'll put this, not that, uh, this one over here. <laughs> Uh, we'll need to put that one there to say that we can take out of this chest over here. Now, we'll need... Let's just go crazy. Take that again. Uh, let's go crazy with those. Put them all in there. We'll put the blaze powder, we'll put the gold nuggets, and we need the crafting placeholders. And we can test if this works. Now, I'll be quite upset if this doesn't. <laughs> But what we want to happen now is we want to see four crafting place holders fall down there with a spark. So let's hope for the best. Four crafting place holders and a spark. I am really, really impressed right now with myself. I am. Woo! Woo! That's cool. <laughs> uh, so it works. Now it, it looks absolutely hideous, but that's a matter of just making a little bit of a shell for this thing. Uh, by the way, these aren't going to stay here. I'm going to connect those up. This was just for demonstration. Uh, but that's how simple... I mean, it, it looks like it could be a bit more complicated than it is. But where, really, when you get it, you'll realize how damn simple it is. So we'll have a look here. If anyone wants to see what's going on here, all this stuff is happening here. It's really not too, too, too bad when you... As I said, when you think about it, uh, nothing's left in that mana pool. It's been recycled. And I know there's a few farms that I'm going to have to get mana around to. A bit better, like that one, <laughs> like that one there, the crop farm right over there, over there, and that one has. It's really not a big deal for us to get mana around to things uh, once we get the mana system in, and I'll be doing that in a future video, as I say. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this up, and we'll put these down in our new little spark room. I'm going to connect up our sparks just so that we have got a spark underneath here. It's going to be on a chest or something else like that. And all that's going to do is just make sure that we've got the 20, I think it's 20 blocks in between sparks that we need for sparks to connect. So if we put a spark too far away, these wouldn't connect. They'll connect now. And that looks really, really cool. Yeah, as I say, that, that's all we need. And then we can also go down there and we can see what happens when we want to get a spark from down here. So I will get this sorted and then we'll see each other again. Now, I'm not going to blow your minds with anything crazy for the rest of today, but what I've just done is I've connected these up to the bottom there, so you can see that those are connecting to the bottom. Now, I think I don't need this many, but I had a similar issue to what happened to me when I was doing the tutorials on these, and some of you guys might remember that um, certain colors weren't working at one stage, and then you had to exit out or click the Master Corporea Spark. Um, for me, I just tried clicking the Master Corporea Spark here, which I've moved it down there, and it didn't want to reset, so I just had to log out, log back in, and it seems to be working now. If I right-click on those, all of them are connected. Uh, now, what I've done is I've also moved this over here, the Corporea Index. I've moved it down to the bottom here so that we can just call stuff straight out. And what I have done, I haven't put anything down to come back in here, which we will do probably next episode, because it makes sense. I don't want to do too many crazy things in one episode, but... Basically what we're going to do is we're going to have those sparks come back from there into here 
And we can do a few other things with that same concept, which some of you guys might have figured out. Um, I was clicking in the wrong direction. Uh, some of you guys might know what's going on, but aside from that, we'll just do one more thing that's a little bit cool here. So we'll go like just your normal chat, and we'll say, uh, I think I've got one spark. Spark. There we go. We got a spark. Uh, now this is the Corporea Index. If you guys are wondering what that is, Check out my first Corporea tutorial, uh, it's, as I say, it'll be down in the description. Check that out. Um, if you guys are interested in Corporea, trust me, it's <laughs> it's a whole bunch of fun. It's really going to change kind of the way Batania's working for us in our base right now. And it's a really big step. So, as for the rest of this episode today, I think this is going to do us for this one. Because, really, there's not much more to do on this. Uh, we've got ourselves a, co a, a spark farm. Something I don't think I've seen, so let's look at me. I don't think I've seen anyone do a spark farm, which is pretty cool. I think it's pretty damn useful. Um, I don't think it gets too much more complicated than this, actually. So, as far as crafting things in Corporea, with Corporea stuff in Batania, nothing's too hard. Let me know if you guys want me to change my wings. <laughs> we can check out a few different ones each episode, maybe. Uh, don't look there. Uh, aside from that, I think that's pretty much going to do us, as I say. Thank you very much, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me what I should build a shell out of around here. And I'm going for good now. See you later, guys.